Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. We are in the month of Elul when we blow the shofar every day, besides for Erev Rosh Hashanah. This is to inspire us to become closer to Hashem. Today we will make a bubble blowing shofar like you've never seen. Here are the supplies we will need. Scissors, a brown sock, please use a new one, a pipette, a rubber band, four small containers and a larger container, a popsicle stick, dish soap, water, an empty 16 ounce plastic water bottle, four colors of watercolor or diluted dye, and some parchment paper. Let's begin. Cut the label off the empty water bottle, then cut the water bottle in half. Here's what's special about Elo. Imagine a king who lived in a grand palace in the capital city, far away from the fields where the common people worked. It was difficult and very unusual for them to see or speak with the king. Next, cut the sock in half and use the foot part of the sock to cover the water bottle. Secure the sock at the mouth of the water bottle with a rubber band and trim off the excess. But on rare occasions, the king would come out to the fields. At these times, even the simplest people could approach him. He would receive every single one of them with a happy face and grant them their requests. Pour a small amount of each watercolor or diluted food dye, if that is what you are using, into four small containers. This mushal is compared to us and Hashem during Elul. Hashem is always available and ready to connect with us, but sometimes it feels very far off for us, like the common people in our mushal who cannot easily access the king in his palace. During the month of Elul, there is a special revelation of Hashem that makes him more accessible to us than during the rest of the year, like the king in our mushal who came to the field. Next, pour approximately two tablespoons of water and two teaspoons of dish soap into a slightly larger and wider container. Stir the mixture well with a popsicle stick. Hashem makes it more attainable, but it is still up to us to make the first move to get closer to Him. Dip the bottom of the bottle into the soapy mixture. Then turn it over, use a pipette to squeeze some color over the entire soapy surface. A few drops of each color should do the trick. That is why we blow the shofar each day, to wake us up to do teshuva, to remind us that we have a special opportunity right now to get closer to Hashem and to ask Him for a good and sweet new year. And now, this is the cool part. Turn over the bottle, open the cover, and blow into your bottle shofar. When the shofar runs out of bubbles, you can repeat the above steps. It is best to do this activity outside or on a well-covered surface. Enjoy! Please like and subscribe, and we hope to see you back again next week.